and M sisters. Like, comment, and subscribe. Try this banana that might. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Loma and I am Maya and welcome back if you're returning and thank you so much for always supporting our channel and if you're new to our channel, welcome. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post a new video. So today guys, uh, Maya and I, we prepped a very special meal for you guys. Uh, this is actually one of our traditional meal back home, which is a uh, fish and um, bulsi, bulsi. Uh, uh, it's also, it's like a taro actually, and uh, you just sm mash it, so, and then also we, uh, Maya made this side dish right here, so she's going to explain it to you guys. Um, so this is also traditional, is what it's uh, bananas, plantains, would those be considered? I think it was plantains. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. so it's plantains, and then I have also the same uh, taro in here. And it's just coconut milk. It was so um, it was um, simmering in coconut milk. So that's that, and it's mm -hmm. so delicious, guys. Yes. And then we also have a side of mayo with uh, garlic powder, garlic powder, and soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we offered to drink. We have the Hawaiian Sun. This is not really like an, a Palauan drink, but mm -hmm. we they sell it a lot in Palau. Yes. And we by when we go to school so mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna be having those today <laughs> so we actually have the whole milkfish here uh so this is the tail that's the head and then um there's all the meat inside so I'm excited <laughs> and all these nice um all these fat mm -hmm. yeah they're so delicious delicious fat. <laughs> mm -hmm. as you can see here i have the tail part uh delilah loves the, the head I love um the head, so she yeah. likes to she wants to eat that part <laughs> even though back home we believe that yeah this it, like, is a funny if, fact yeah, yeah so if a family has has a dinner has dinner right together and they have a big like a big fish a whole fish mm -hmm. the head would go to the head of the family and then the the yeah. one of the set and then there's like certain pieces in the center oh, yeah. the piece for the first one would be for mom and then like piece 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 by piece to each kids until the youngest one gets the tail of the fish. Yeah. <laughs> so usually like like this part right here, so it'd be mm -hmm. like that size. Um, but only if it's a big fish. If that's it's small true, fish, but small. yeah, <laughs> we'll be getting like tiny little uh -huh. pieces. <laughs> but that's usually how it is at home. It's like the little, the youngest one would always get the tail of the mm -hmm. fish whenever they have our fat our parents cook. Yeah. So this food we oh go ahead what were you gonna say mm. no 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 what were you gonna say no I didn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, really, what were you going to say? Oh, oh, I was just going to say that um, that even with names too, when you're the youngest, you get called like the the tail of the fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what you're called, yep. yeah. So that's like a uh, middle name. Yeah. Nickname, nickname. Alrighty. So you're about to explain how we eat this. Yes, guys. So the thing about this fish is it's very bony. There's lots of bones in there. Yes. So we have to be very careful when we eat it. So we want to chat to you. As much as we want to chat to you guys, we have to make sure we're also paying attention to the fish. Yeah, yeah. So because there's like little tiny pieces. Like, guys, the meat is so milky mm -hmm. and white. That is why it's called milk fish. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How's it? <laughs> mm, it's so good. So good. Mmm. And dip my taro in here. I love coconut um, flavored. Oops. <laughs> Blooper. Guys, funny stories about when we, whenever we eat fish. So for a kid, if you swallow a uh, bone, yeah. a fish bone you and it gets stuck in your throat you your parent you, my grandparents would always try to help us by like saying eat more rice or yeah. like eat um eat bread or eat something like b mm -hmm. big Drink water yeah eat, eat something bigger so that it like pushes it down and sometimes it gets stuck there for like days even and, oh my gosh that's so true yeah and you can't go to school <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot. yeah 
Yeah, but that used to happen. <laughs> when you're that fish is so dangerous. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So that actually this kind of fish we were not allowed to eat it <laughs> when we were younger. I, mean, I remember when we were like eating, like we'd be eating and the food's so good. And then all of a sudden you feel it in your mouth. You're throat. like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I finish my dinner or like mm -hmm. my lunch, I would always be like, oh, thank goodness. This is the, it's mayo on top of the, what do you call it? The skin, like burnt skin. Mm -hmm. Kind of like salmon skin if you've had it when you had sushi. It's super good. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't think I've had an incident where I have a huge bone in my throat. I think once, once I actually swallowed a, a um, penny. Oh my god. <laughs> when she was little, like very little. I don't know why I thought I could like swallow it. So I put it in my mouth and then it went all the way here, like through the middle of my throat. And then my mom was, she was really quick to act. She so. noticed that she was like choking on it, mm -hmm. and she like, gr like reached in and grabbed mm -hmm. the yeah with her coin. finger, and good thing that she was because weren't you like it. running out of breath too? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, why I was she turned around breath. and your like face was like turning blue and stuff. So. Yeah, so that and then there was also a moment too that we were eating crabs. It's like a Palauan crab. We're eating it, and then there's a piece of the shell that was stuck in my throat. So oh I my couldn't. god, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like sorry, the, I don't mean to laugh. It was I'm like sorry. the whole claw. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? It was a piece of like, yeah, a piece of the shell was stuck in my throat. So I felt it there. So we literally had to drive all the way to this little store by the house. Which is probably like uh, five minutes away, I would say. So we went there and she got chocolate milk. Because that, that definitely... I guess helps with if you have something lodged in your throat, you have to drink chocolate milk to help it go down. Well, it's creamy. Yeah. So like fast thinking, and then we went there and we just got it. So funny. I got so many stuff stuck in my my mouth. <laughs> what about you? Um. Okay, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna have my island tropical. I, I mean, island iced tea. Island uh -huh. iced tea. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, go ahead. It's so good. The, I know. The, I can't believe. I it. can't believe like the. I don't know why the fat is so good. Oh yeah, this one like they have a, the. It's a fatty fish too. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So yeah. cheers. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Cheers. cheers. No, I was just turning oh, it around. No. <laughs> Like we're drinking beer. beer. We're the same. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, MG. This is so good. This just reminds me of pizza. <laughs> pizza? Yeah, so this they used to sell it at this. Oh, yeah. yeah a really pizza. nice pizza place back home. And they actually used to have a black one and like other flavors, but. Lilikoi. Honestly, and any of them are good. Yeah. Yeah, I love... My favorite one is the apple green tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and start oh, eating you've my... Been, you've been doing your bones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, it takes <laughs> a lot of time. I just finished deboning um, some, pieces. some pieces of the meat. So, I'm going to go ahead and have it with the, <clears throat> with the taro. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Good? Good. Okay, good. We have the, the, the taro. I'm excited for you. And I'm dipping the fish in the sauce. Mmm! <laughs> Mm. Wow! So 
So other sauces that are really good with this is soy, just soy sauce and soy sauce and oil. Soy sauce and vegetable oil. Mm. Something that you eat with it. Oh my god, why didn't we think of that? I just thought I just remembered now. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good, guys. Wow, 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 yeah. This is definitely a social food for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. I remember when we were young too, we would, um, like, so the kids would have our, we would have our meals at like 7 p.m. Really early? Mm hmm 6, 7 p.m. And then the adults have their meals at like 10, oh. 10, 30 or 11. <laughs> That's so funny. And I get, I got, I usually got so upset because every time, um, every time, I have my meal. Mm -hmm. I have to have my meal at six or seven. When I was like, I think it was up until I was like ten oh, or really? eleven. No, no, no. I think I was like ten. Yeah, ten. Ten or maybe nine. Ten. You would have been in what fifth grade? <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god, I Six, totally seven, just eight, got nine, ten. <clears throat> I just got lost. I forgot that. Yeah, actually. yeah I think I was like 10. Mm -hmm. 10 when I started eating with the adults at like 10. Oh, or, I see what you mean. Yeah, okay. like I would always get so sad. I was like, oh my god, I really wish I can eat at like 10 o'clock. I don't know why. <laughs> Be part of the, the like older. No, because it's always so like interesting because mm -hmm. they would sit and like chat mm -hmm. and. They would like sit in a circle and they're my, all like laughing. And yeah, stories. so my, yeah. Oh, I'm actually kind of sad. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we, it was my grandma. My grandma would like cook the meal. My my grandma and grandpa, uh, grandpa would from our dad's side. Yeah, from my dad's side would cook the meal, and then uh, kids would eat at like six or seven p.m. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, uh, the adults eat. But yeah, my grandma would sit. <clears throat> and then whoever's at the house at that time, like over, like who's an adult, mm -hmm. would like sit around her, and then we would have like our plates and stuff, and we just sit and like it's all like, gossip. gossip. <laughs> <laughs> and oh then my I, gosh, that's right. It's all like gossip. Yes, and, and well, I, not always, but mm -hmm. it's good gossip. Mm -hmm. Good, <laughs> but good. Just kidding. It yeah. Is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then we would like. We would have to go to the store like every night to yeah. buy like uh, soda. Oh, but for then everyone, yeah, because yeah. then back back home it's actually cheaper to buy individual cans mm -hmm. than to buy a whole case That's of soda. So instead, we just go to the store, and then we pick whatever uh, whatever each person likes, like mm -hmm. which type of soda. So we always know, like we. We don't even have to write it down because we like memorize it. Like this person likes Mountain Dew, like this person Sprite. likes Pepsi, this person likes Coke, <laughs> and then That's like so we go to the store and we walk out with like this big bag of like soda. <laughs> sodas. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try the one of the banana. Really? Oh, I'm excited. So I'm gonna try this banana that my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to try the banana with the fish. That's what it looks mm. like. Mmm. How's it? How's it? Sorry, I'm looking at you. Wow. Yeah. It's actually really good with the fish. time when I was younger I believe I was in I don't remember correctly I was probably in I was pretty young probably in uh, third grade mm -hmm. either third or fourth but basically so we um, our mom used to buy or no she didn't used to buy so our brother came home to visit this one he was still in the US and we were back home in Palau so he came to visit and that time he ate like just rice and beans. He made this really good recipe. Um, so he he had gotten rye, like brown rice and some beans, like raw beans that you still have to roast and everything. So we had that just laying around in the house and we never even used it. 
And then this one morning, for some reason, um, we had like this big ceremony that we had to go to, uh, my mom and I. And then that morning I decided to go into the bag and I grabbed a bean, like a small bean. Mm -hmm. And I put it in my ear. <laughs> I do my if I tilt my head again, but it was stuck in there. So my, I I had like an issue with my head because it was starting to get like really hot. I think I reached about like a hundred and something degrees. Like my head, Are you my serious? temperature, yeah. So but then I didn't tell my mom. You had a fever because of mm -hmm. it. I didn't tell my mom because I was scared that she's gonna get so mad at me. <laughs> so we went to the ceremony. I was there and I started like um, having the like my head was burning up. And um, I believe I might like my eyesight too, but I told I told her what that. What the heck? Yeah. I didn't even know that. I told her that, mom. I don't know. I think I might be sick. So then she took me to her mom's house, and we went to the house, and I I like went to sleep. But I I knew what was happening, but I didn't want to tell her. So she like, she drove me all the way to the hospital, and they checked, and they're like, oh my god, she has <laughs> like a hundred and one degree. Like, so is it Celsius or degrees? Degrees. Mm -hmm. Um, your temperature was 101. Yeah, temperature was 101. So then they were like, this is so bizarre, like I've never seen any... You had a fever of like, 101. Fe yeah, fever go that high. But then they finally inspected it. <laughs> we went to, I remember we went to the doctors and like they finally asked me like what happened. So then I told them and then... What did mom say? I was just there like sitting and then oh, actually they used the machine you know to like check and everything so they checked and then they saw I guess they saw and then that's when they told my mom so they had to take it out <laughs> that's when they took it out and then she like looked at me she looked straight at me and she's like like <laughs> you know her face right <laughs> but then she just laughed she just laughed and they went into the garden and she's like why didn't you just tell me? That? <laughs> like, like, like oh, why, why did you do that? Why would you put a bean in your ear? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. Just to see if it fits. And I thought if I tilt my head, it would come out, but it was stuck in there for days. And <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so that was my crazy random story. Okay, but... guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, but you never even, you never even knew that story. I kind of I kind of remember it a little bit, but I, I didn't know all the details. So yeah. now that I hear it, it's really funny. But I'm scared. If you ever get a beef, dang, you could have gotten like blind or like I know died yeah. from your fever. I don't know. Hi guys, Hi guys. it's the LNM sisters again. We had to film a different outro because the phone cut off while we were still filming. So, but we just wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching us eat some fish and just going back in time to just kind of enjoy our childhood stories um if you did enjoy the video if you could please please leave a thumbs up for us we really do appreciate it and if you would like if you could please share we'd really do we'd be really happy if you do that um, make sure to stay tuned for the next one we love you guys and have a wonderful rest of your night or day wherever you are bye, bye. guys